This video is about learning how to get Backbone and the demo model running on your own computer. Before we start, you have to have done three steps. First, you have installed GUMS. Second, you have installed any Git software. And third, you have added GAMS as a path variable in Windows. This will later allow you to run GAMS and Backbone using a command file. To install Backbone, uh, we have to clone the Backbone repository. I will do it using a command line get and an empty folder. Let's first create the empty folder. Then let's open command line get. And cd to our created folder. I will then type git clone select the address of the local repository and specify I want to download branch release 2.x We have now successfully cloned Backbone to our local repository. To get the demo model, we need to go to Backbone GitLab, then to Wiki and Example Models. We call this the Demo1 model. The Demo1 model is created for demonstrating the different features of Backbone in a small demo system. The structure of Demo Model 1 is pictured here. We have three types of elements here, grids on the bottom uh, for different energy carriers, nodes, the squares located on those grids and units, the circles for converting energy between grids. Some nodes represent the whole country, while some represent an individual city within that country. For example, unit 11 here is converting nuclear fuel to electricity grid. Units 8 and 9 are not using a fuel, but a flow like wind or solar. Some units don't generate, they just convert or transfer energy between nodes, like unit 15, an electrolyzer unit, or unit 7, a charge and discharge unit for storage. To get the Demo1 model, we save the Demo1 zip file inside the Backbone folder in the local repository, and unzip it inside a folder called Demo1. All these files define the demo model input data and run instructions. The most important files are the input data demo Excel, uh, where you define the grids, nodes and units of your system. The second most important ones are schedule init and invest init, where you define the temporal settings of the model. To find out more about editing the input data, please see the next video or get to know the Demo1 instructions PDF. To run the Demo1 model, uh, we use any of these five command files starting with run. There are five options. Reduced for working with GUMS demo license, one week test for running quick test, schedule for running full year operational schedule run, install invest for optimizing investments, and invest and schedule for first invest optimizing and then running the full year. Let's double click the test. The 
the demo model is now finished running and three GDX files have been created. The important one is the results GDX that we can open with GAMS editor. But to find out more about understanding the output, please see the next video.